All right, what is up? Welcome back to another video. I just got home from the grocery store. My stuff out of my pockets here. I got some packages. I, I came home and I came home to some packages. So we're gonna open up two of them. I think I know what they both are. One potentially is a customer camera. One is something I'm very excited about, potentially. So let's see which one is which. Boom. Okay, let me set the box down real quick. I'll break into this uh, a bit more on a separate video, but this is a Miranda. This is a very unique camera system. I love them quite a bit. I've repaired a couple of them. I've messed around with a couple of them. I've not shot with one, but this one was like on sale. So I thought maybe me thinks me buy it. I'm beginning to regret that decision as I think this is in much worse condition than initially suspected, but I have uh, the false sense of confidence in my abilities to remedy the situation. Okay, that sounded promising. Let's see if we can get the lens cap off here. Uh, but the Miranda camera system is its an old Japanese company. There we go. And they made cameras, they did not make lenses. So, there we go. Just needs a little bit of persuasion. But yeah, this is just to me a gorgeous looking camera. I think overall the functionality is pretty awesome. This one is definitely very broken which is great because, there we go. It just needed some coaxing. And now it's running again, look at that. It's amazing. Wow, that's actually pretty impressive. Not, not gonna lie, I'm pretty impressed with my skills there. So anyway, I got this because I wanted to shoot with it. It's a very, very basic, simple camera. It's all mechanical, there's no light meter. I'm really getting more into those, I think, just as a person. I enjoy the detachable prism. I have a lot more thoughts to share. This one has uh, some kind of life form in there. I don't know if you can see, but that's that's kind of disgusting. So I will have to peer into that later. However, it has been a while since I've seen a bug camera. The lens on the other hand is a bit of a mess. And something interesting about Miranda is they actually didn't make their own lenses. Um, so I can't get mad at them for the lack of quality here. But there's definitely some, oh wow, okay. Yeah, sure, why not? Uh, I'm gonna have to take a better look at this because it's definitely not uh, put together properly at all. Um, but it is interesting because you have the shutter button through the lens to the camera body, so. That's cool, and then this uh, lens cap was kind of stuck on in a weird way. Moving on to the next package. So this next package, a little bit smaller than the Miranda one. I think I know, this actually might not be a customer camera. So we'll find out shortly. It's very heavy which is a good sign, potentially, or a bad sign. Oh, it's a good sign. Oh, it is a good sign, okay. Sick. Boom. And, boom. Kind of. Cool. All right, sweet. So we got two cameras. These are ones that I also bought recently because, uh, you know, it was a really good deal, not gonna lie. We got a Canon QL17 G3 with a non-functioning, there we go, it's going, it, it's, it's trying, it's trying, non-functioning shutter, but it's gonna, it'll do it for me. If I ask, oh, oh, look at that. You just have to ask nicely, I'm telling you guys. You just have to ask nicely. This is missing a lot of the important parts of the camera that you would need. 
i.e. the front element, i.e. the front housing, i.e. basically all of the stuff that makes this a functioning camera. Uh, but I have some of that at the very least. If not, the shutter will work eventually, and this will be very good parts. The top looks like it's in fairly good condition. The bottom is a little scuffed, but not too bad. This is working, that's always a good sign. The back looks clean. Overall, pretty good. Nice nameplate. And honestly, the focus screen is looking really sharp. So I'm stoked about that. The next one I think is in better condition, if I recall. And here we go. It actually does have the front piece here, but it is not put in properly because a moron got to this one. You can tell that based off of the front bracket piece here it is uh yeah that that's kind of fucked okay not gonna lie the shutter works which is good uh we will talk about that shutter speed that mm -hmm, that's promising uh the focus marks are pretty clean which is nice there's no power because i assume there's probably no battery top is in good condition this front plate's looking clean the bottom is in much better condition overall that is good and then let's pop open the back take a peek at that Ooh, love to see that new light seals weird but okay so yeah i think really the biggest thing here would be to get this off which shouldn't be too hard i say Hoping that that's the case. Um, but overall, I believe I have another one of this, so I'm not too worried about it, but I would like to try to get this off in one piece, so that could take a while. Really what I wanted to do was just highlight today's findings. I'm pretty stoked about these because I got them for a pretty decent deal, I would say. And they're always good to have on hands for parts, and then also getting them fixed up and getting them sold back to people will make me very happy. And then in terms of the Miranda, once I get the lens to actually work in a promising manner, I do want to clean the camera itself just because I don't really trust the shutter. But yeah, I would like to test the speeds to make sure that they're actually functioning properly. And then also just the rest of the camera is uh, a mystery. And I also want to make a different video on it because this camera I think deserves a little bit more credit than just a video. Oh, there are some signs of rust in there, so I'll have to clean that. Other than that, I mean, this looks pretty stinking clean in here. So, stoked about that. And for the record, this is the only camera that I've seen in my, in my time doing this where the front shutter button makes sense and also looks good. Uh, this bit is a little bit clustered here in my opinion, but I think for the most part, I let it slide because this just looks... I, and I love that. I love all the little actuations that happen. Oh, I'm so excited to talk about this. Anyway, that's it for today's video. Thank you very much for watching. Appreciate it as always. Be sure to like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel. All that good stuff for more uh, amusing content to come. Appreciate the support as always. Well, there we go. Now it's working. Love to see it. All right. So this is how it's supposed to work. You press down through here. And that fires the camera. I really like that design. Call me crazy. I just think it's great. Anyway, that's all. Thank you again. I'll catch you on the next one.